Hi, I'm Brian Huyen from Homestead Dairy. We milk a little over 3,000 cows on three different facilities. We've been milking since 1979. My dad and uncle bought the farm for my grandfather. Uh, currently, we're milking between 83 and 85 pounds a day. We have roughly 50 employees uh, taking care of calves and cows. Well, there were three main reasons why we wanted to install the AFI milk system. Uh, the first one was to have daily milk weights on all of our cows so we knew how much milk they were giving and which ones uh, we needed to sell for beef. Uh, the other reason was we had started to artificially inseminate and we wanted to make sure heat detection was not an issue, so we, we put in the AFI milk system so we could have heat detection. And, and the third reason was for um, health reasons. We wanted to make sure that we were finding the fresh cows and sick cows quicker than what we were currently doing. Uh, we can make better decisions by having more data. Uh, our heat detection has been top notch. Our breeding has been top notch because of the, app, the help of the AFI milk system. And, and installing the AFI lab has allowed our peaks to get higher. By, by finding the sick cows quicker, it has allowed us to have our, our success rates um, been improved by treating them quicker. Uh, also for feed, since I've been uh, controlling my diets for the last few years, having that information at your, at your fingertips every eight hours on what your fat and protein's doing was very beneficial. Since the installation of Affy Lab, our herdsmen have been looking at the subclinical ketosis report every morning and anything new on that report, they will code in into our computer program to automatically be dosed uh, 150 cc's of propylene glycol for three days. By doing that, it has reduced the amount of, of clinical cases of ketosis, it's reduced the amount of DAs that we've had, and it almost immediately allowed our peaks to go higher. What we found was that most of the cows that came up for subclinical ketosis were cows that took off in production really quickly and did just, just did not have the intake, feed intake, to support that level of production. So by dosing them with propylene glycol, it allowed them to continue up in their milk production until they were able to uh, have enough feed intake to support that level of production. I will look at um, pen performance and, and group components to to see if there are any differences and if I need to make any adjustments in feeding times or feeding frequency. Uh, one of the things we found right away is we were feeding a couple of groups once, one time a day rather than two times a day and we saw a big difference in components on each milking shift and so after we, we changed those to, to twice a day feeding, those differences kind of narrowed down. After installing the AFI lab, um, we had fewer incidences of, of disease. Our, our fresh cow culling was reduced and, and that translates into big savings. It's allowed us to, to find these cows quicker and, and get them over their sickness a lot faster and more with better results. We would estimate the ROI on our AFI milk system and AFI lab system at, at about two and a half years. The most valuable part of the AFI milk system is, is having the data to make management decisions. The AFI lab is probably the most valuable part of the system because everyone knows that transition is the key to, to making uh, your herd healthy and, and just cruise. So having that information from AFI lab, the fat and protein, being able to find these transition cow problems quicker uh, allows you to have higher peaks and, and overall better health in your herd.